Discord. Discord is taking over every single voice communication application out there. Man, say that 10 times fast. From its simple but attractive designs to its self-hosted service, it's really taking a step up from most of the communication softwares out there. It has a very nice blend between Skype and TeamSpeak. It uses Skype service hosting methods, so this means you won't have to set up a server to start chatting. Now you're asking yourself, why would I use this? You've basically explained Skype. Well, instead of having the users to host the servers, which could cause lag and ping spikes, Discord has been so generous and made their own server. There are nine locations where the servers are hosted. There is servers in Amsterdam, Frankfurt, London, Singapore, Sydney, US Central, US East, US South, and US West. That's a lot of countries. But what if you're not in one of these countries? Well, the Discord servers are pretty strong. I've had to be an American server before and I had no issues, but a bit of a delay. And since I'm Australian, and our internet is pretty crap, you won't have any problems. Now, how does this relate to TeamSpeak? Well, TeamSpeak has a function where you can create your servers with a hub and several channels. And it's a great way to do tournaments because you can have everyone in one channel talk about stuff and tell them to join channels Team Red or Blue. Or if you're an admin slash mod, you can drag and drop them into the channels. So Discord adopted this idea, which was a pretty smart move. So you can make admin change the volumes of your peers individually, change permissions, make more groups, and even change the sound quality of the channel. So once again, if you have a friend that is lagging and you don't mind having slightly worse sound quality, just turn that sucker down or turn it all the way up. I don't know what you want to do. They also have made an overlay kind of like Steam, where you can turn up people in your channel if they're too quiet or turn them down if they're too loud. So this means you won't need to alt tab while in action. Also, comparing Discord to Skype and TeamSpeak, Discord is super light and it does not zap your performance or zap your internet speeds. So if you're running this on a potato, you're A-OK. -okay. And if you have a large following, you'll be safe from DDoS attacks. I have no idea how secure this is because I've never been able to test it, but they have claimed DDoS free on their website. Alright, enough about the good, let's talk about the bad. Now Discord hosting their own servers is great and all, but if Discord really wants to make it to the gaming scene, they need to have the option where the users can create their own servers. Because in tournaments, if they want to use Discord, they would have to put up with the delay. So making LAN servers or hosting their own servers would be essential. Also, the overlay system is kind of limited. There is no way of moving the Discord picture. So if you have something there and it's important, it could put you at a disadvantage in game. You can have the option to make it smaller, but it did not want to work for me. So I can't compare if it's better. Discord also has a weird bug where it won't update permissions or groups you have made to your server. You can see the changes, but others can't. So the only way to fix the problem is your friends must restart Discord. But besides all the bad, it's a great program. The developers are always making more enhancements slash bug fixes and ideas I've never thought about. They're always working to make new things for the program. So it really shows how passionate they are about Discord. So I'm giving Discord a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect, but I think it's better than Skype and TeamSpeak. It's creative. The developers are really getting down and creating functions that are super useful and always updating it. It's super light, so you won't have an issue with performance lag or internet spikes. It's very simple, but attractive and easy on the eyes. And also, if you want to try it, but you don't want to download it, just use the browser version and see how it goes. And if you're happy with it, download Discord. Well, that's my review of Discord. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want more of me, go check my channel out. It'll be on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and keep those combos rolling.